Welcome back to my cup of TV with Jenny, JD, Erin. <laughs> I did say JD. Fuck. <laughs> we literally just had this conversation, and then I went to go and down the window, but I could see Cat there. Oh, Peak adulting. <laughs> so this is Erin <laughs> and Cat. There we go. So Vampire Diaries, season three, episode two. This one is called The Hybrid. I wonder who mm. it's about. Ooh, I don't know. Couldn't possibly be that. Evil, naughty, beautiful, handsome, and very <laughs> badly behaved half wolf, half vampire. So we know that Klaus is trying to make a new race. Klaus is hybrids a, like him. Klaus is a Hitler wannabe. He wants to make a supreme but race. Why? Because wouldn't you want to be the only one? That's superior. Why, that's my worry. How is he going to ensure that he creates his own race? But that he still says, pun intended, top dog. (laughs) Because he doesn't want them to be, if the idea is that they are not immortal, or they are immortal, undefeatable, whatever it is, if they can take him over. Yeah, he doesn't want equals. No, he wants underlings. So, well, maybe, actually, maybe part one of the plan, find out where they are. Part two, expand on this guy. Part three, work out how to kill this guy before making more. Ugh, these plans are so easy. I feel like he wants to be obviously like a cult leader, like if he makes his own followers, but I wonder if there's part of it as well that he doesn't want to be alone. He doesn't want to be the only one because if he is the only one, he'd be like the freak. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe he wants people like him, but to keep his as we said his intention or his desire we suspect of wanting to stay top dog maybe if he does it in like a cult way that keeps his authority maybe he gets the best of both but I don't know I see it more as having a superior army please remember to like comment and subscribe in the comments what benefits do you see to having more hybrids I say if they look like Klaus, that's a benefit enough. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Happy birthday, Elena. Seven killed Andy. Eight. Seven's gone. And I don't mean geographically. If he was gone, he would have called. But in a way, Miss Compassionate Elena, not caring that he's killed Andy, mm. just I want to find him, Damon. You know. Sod your grief. Yeah, there wasn't really <laughs> much reaction there. Who are you? The important question is, who am I? Please, <laughs> forgive the intrusion. My name is Klaus. He you likes the fear that his name I brings. Oh, smug. I mean, the way he says his name and waits, like, you can react now. Says your pa- <laughs> pause for applause. Yeah. Mm. Fantastic. It's like he doesn't even hide his arrogance. No. <sighs> She's checking to see if Tyler's a vampire. Morning, sweetheart. Coffee's hot. Okay. Is she drinking? drinking? <laughs> yes. If you're going to bring a girl home, I wish you'd have the tact not to sneak out like a prostitute. Don't wait up tonight. Oh, hey, how relief hey, though. I like that you called her yeah. on that. Oh, Tyler's journey to respecting women. It's so good to see. Oh. It's only taken two good seasons. But yeah. Can I point out? Vicky didn't have any respect for herself and he had no respect for her. Mm. So we need to see if he had a similar character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not to be victim blaming. No, but, but, oh, no, but, not but you're right. Yeah. Vicky didn't set any healthy boundaries. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Personal items, and it works best when a family member tries to make contact. No, 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 no. We're not contacting my sister. That's a big ask. She doesn't have to you anything. How do you feel about a little hike through the Smoky Mountains? Two of the humans, yeah, good idea. We'll be out there before the moon is full. Oh, God, no, you won't. But can I point out again? She talks about doing things to protect the people she loves. You're putting him in danger. Yeah. Mm. You're putting yourself in danger. You're putting Stefan in danger. It's 
It's Caroline Bell. I remember the day she was born. <gasps> what does the rest of the council know? I haven't said a word. I've been putting this together on my own. So that's Caroline's dad? Is how to handle this? <laughs> Their veins are so vulnerable being out there. They're all gonna find out that she's still alive. Mmm. The vein grenade? What's vein? He's so creative. Well, He's like the M yes. from Bond. How about you are until after we survive this? I feel bad if I got you killed before happy hour. That's fair. <laughs> That's <laughs> no reason for him not to use yeah. it on loan. They can have a really good relationship, I hope. I hope we see that this yeah. season. Oh, it's diamond, isn't it? <laughs> How are you even here? So is this your master plan? Unless it doesn't work. Build an army of hybrid slaves? No, not slaves. Soldiers. Told you. Oh! It's not going well. Get out of the water, Lana. If I get out of the water, you're going to make me go home. Yeah. Because I'm not an idiot like you. <laughs> You're both acting like idiots. This is not safe. I'm not leaving before we find him. It's a full moon tonight, Elena. Then we'll find him before then. But again, his point, what are you going to do? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, we're out of here before the moon is full of animals. Hey. I got this. Unless you want to relive that whole deathbed kissy thing. I got it. <laughs> See what I mean? Like, what is she gonna do? Go, Stefan, come home. And he'll come home and everything will be fine. Mm. What? <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh no, but how did you do it? Oh, I... oh. So I'm just gonna jump. And do what? Ow. So is that technically a werewolf bite? Yeah. So let's get out here before full moon is now not a relevant plan. Not that it really was in the first place, but. Where is she? You can't be with her. She's a monster. <sighs> let's get a glimpse of what she'll think of you him. You don't know about me, do you? No, oh. Oopsie. Time to leave. Yeah. So this is all. It's because she's your sister. You have a chance to help her. I can't do this. He didn't want to be involved in this world, though, did he? And he's just digging up all that grief he's trying to deal with. He's literally boxed it away and not. Ooh. Oh! Oh, the goosebumps have just gone up my arm. Did a very good job. Yes. <laughs> Classic horror movie. Oh. Elaine is being very stupid yeah. in this episode. <sighs> Oh my no. god. You think Caroline is a monster? I'm a monster mom. What? That's actually going to be really horrible to watch your child suffer so much. 
Yeah. But do you know what? You've got to get her to understand. Yeah. Seeing is believing. Yeah. I'd stop with the late night phone calls. <laughs> I didn't call her. Kids, you did. Sure, you did. <laughs> and we're just sitting in this car? Let the vampires fight the hybrid zombie mountain man. <laughs> I'll take care of keeping the humans safe. Alaric speaks I sense. You a sucker for a lost cause or what? You're not a lost cause, Rick. You're just. Lost. Our family is gone. We don't have anybody. I'm sorry, but you don't have anybody either, so I'm trying to get for each other. Oh. I'm keeping the ring, though. <laughs> I can come back. I can come back. What is she saying? Tell me. Oh no! Oh, oh, damn! <laughs> he ended up killing them all. I did everything I was told. That's a tantrum. I killed a werewolf. I killed a vampire. I killed the doppelganger. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, that beer is going to taste real funky. <laughs> <laughs> Sad music shouldn't be allowed to be played over this bit for Klaus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was for Stefan, but like. <laughs> Interesting, they didn't feed him from his wrist like he did, like with them. Mm. It's almost like he did it with a bit more respect. Yeah. Of passing it as a drink. David, is he okay? No, he's not okay, Lana. He's an insufferable mark. He needs his ass kicked. <laughs> what changed your mind? I changed my mind because even in his darkest place, my brother still can't let me die. Oh. What changed your mind, Elena? He was in danger. I didn't want to see you get hurt, okay? I was. I was worried about you. Oh no, the music. Oh no. Thanks. <laughs> oh. Yes, I worry about you. Because when I drag my brother from the edge to deliver him back to you, I want you to remember the things you felt while he was gone. Oh. Hello. Oh. Who's coming? Oh. I'm pretty sure she. They had said the name Bill before. Like they must have mm. heard it before. It was just in the freezer. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to steal the thing. Oh, it's so nice no. myself. What do me? It's very yes. good spot. Caroline's dad. Mm. How disgustingly ruthless of him that he's at their monster. Not even like a. Oh, my daughter. Well, he's at the same place that Liz was before, mm. right? He's not encountered Caroline to realise it's still her. True. 
But are you not thinking... Are you still not kind of going, well, I want to see for myself? Or, like, let's yeah. check. Not let Sadness, me just go... remorse, And we did denial. see Liz go through that moment of, oh, my God, did you die? Like, mm, yeah. yeah. He doesn't <laughs> seem to have any of that. When you're ringing in a vamp... If we're going with him as, like, a vampire hunter or whatever, would you not have brought him in when, do you remember, they did the Gilbert device and then the mm. alarm went off? Would you not have phoned him in then? Why now? Or is it just purely because it's Caroline? But let's remember that when they did the vampire device, you had John Gilbert, you had the mayor, and as much as I hate to say it, you had the men who could handle it, you know. Whereas I think she doesn't want to... I don't think she trusts Liz. Mm. But also, and they're the two women in power. So if, if it's only Liz... Then again, she hasn't gone to Damon. Mm. She doesn't maybe Liz told not to go to Damon. But we were thinking... Well, I was thinking, or well, I didn't really put it together. So Liz is a Forbes, but it's not her line, is no, it? It's she his. married in. So she married in and then was told about the council. Mm-hmm. So he's the, la- the, the bloodline. The bloodline. Yeah. I also don't know with Liz whether she's involved in the council because she married in or because she is the sheriff and you need them oh, yeah. as a part of yeah. it, don't you? Mm. You need key people in key positions to make that work. But you're right, it's interesting that she called almost an outsider to the council rather than Liz or somebody else in the council. Mm. But is that because she wasn't sure yet about Tyler? And her concern was, if I tell them... Yeah. And it turns out Tyler is, then what? Mm. And of course, again, it could be that it's her dad, so... Mm. I don't know. Like she said, it's Caroline. I've known her since she was born. I don't know what to do with that. Mm. So she's conflicted on... The it's a monster kill it also interesting that after she saw Tyler do whatever happened yeah. to him and she was like I will save Caroline yeah. because actually maybe she's not a monster yeah. if you are like if this is happening to you yeah. so it was very much like I think he showed her not for himself he showed her oh, yeah. to save Caroline yeah, yeah. Mm. I think for her it's more of a maybe there is more to this than I the, I knew ever knew I so, a bit. yeah yeah Maybe we need to ask a few more questions mm. before he does anything. Hopefully that's what's going to happen, is he is going to go in and talk to Caroline, whereas I don't know if he would have done that in the first place anyway, rather than go in and just kill her straight away. But He does not give me... Let's take a beat mm. and like talk mm. this through before we start vibes. I, I might be prejudging a character, but I feel like I'm getting a pretty typical... Yeah. Although I will Sense. say, we're into season three now. Can Caroline just catch a fucking break? Mm. This is why oh my she God. was straight in, top tier. Yes. No questions, mm. nothing asked. Poor because Caroline. Mm. Leave her alone. <laughs> we need to redo the leave Brittany alone with the leave Caroline alone. <laughs> just want her and Tyler to have a little bit, you know, normal little date night. Mm. Didn't even get that just, far. Stop going after her. She's not hurting anyone. Give that woman the respect she deserves. Mm. <laughs> She's like, you're going after someone like... Okay, so Sheriff Forbes has, what, for whatever reason, decided Caroline... Not Sheriff Forbes. The mum. The mayor. Yeah. For whatever reason, decided Caroline was a vampire. We don't know why. She hasn't seen her do Excuse anything me. bad. Mm. She's just mm. been like... She's just going on reputation That's all alone. they know, isn't it? Yeah. Like, vampire yeah. bad, this bad. Out of all of them, Caroline is the person that has adapted the best oh, yeah. to being a vampire mm. she other than the right at the beginning where she killed that guy that Bonnie liked or yeah. went on the day with mm. we've not seen her bite anybody bite no. anyone do anything other than little no that's not true oh, she bit her, Matt she, we saw her um, do all those police officers when she was trying to rescue someone oh yes, yes that wasn't great when she was trying to rescue her mum mm. no yeah. Oh, but okay, yeah. you could say that out of all of them, Caroline has the control over the blood loss that Damon has, but she has kind of the compassion and the yeah. heart that Stefan has. Mm. You know, so oh my god, why is Caroline not running a school for vampires? <laughs> yeah, Damon and Elena, big talking point. Mm. So interesting. I feel like we got lots of answers in this one, mm. which was quite satisfying, and. We've got a lot about how conflicted Elena is, though, because they mm. went out there to save Stefan. 
They didn't mm. save Stefan. She came home with the Damon. She came home to save Damon. Elena really bothered me in this episode. Of, Could you tell? She was a bit of a dick in this episode. She was She's a bit very of a dick selfish. In this episode. Like you just put two other people in danger, and they've told you specifically. He is hunting these people. He doesn't mm. know you're alive. We yeah. don't want him yeah. to know you're alive. If he finds out you're alive, we're all in serious trouble. And your but aunt Jenna worry. died for nothing if Let's he finds out you're alive. alive. And like, your dad. What the fuck mm. are you doing? It's yeah. just this whole thing of her wanting to protect everybody. And it's like, but what you're doing is putting people in danger, including yeah. Stefan. Yeah. Stefan has specifically told, well, he's told Damon to leave him alone. Okay, he hasn't told you about the 10 year thing. But. He's told you to leave him alone because he's doing whatever he's doing to put, to yeah. keep you alive. Well, for and me, you're like, yeah, I must drive to the forest and find him. She goes out there with this whole, we must save Stefan. They put in Alaric and then Damon at yeah. risk. Then we've got Stefan. What if she does get to Stefan? Klaus sees that she's alive. Klaus yeah. wants to kill her. Is Stefan yeah. going to stand by and let that happen? No. Yeah. You could Definitely kill Stephanie, do you know what yeah. I mean? And everyone who's died to save her up to this point will be for nothing. Yeah, so she's really being risks. ungrateful yeah. that, for the people that have died. Because the spell only works once. But, yeah. Can we also, I suppose, have to consider she's just turned 18? Mm. If you told me that Jake had gone missing and I had no idea where I was and you told me you knew where he was and then I couldn't go and see him. Mm. I can't tell you that I wouldn't do something ridiculous. Now, objectively, so here I can say, what but the fuck are you doing? But he told you that he'd been mm. taken with a vampire and if you went, if they found out you were alive, they were going to kill everybody. And that he was a vampire too, so he's going to be fine. He's fine. But how do you know? So you can be told something, mm. but seeing it, with your eyes imagine like yeah. just reaching out and even just getting a glimpse to know that because you've been told that he's alive but do you do you know it? do you believe it I think yes her actions are, are wrong she's putting yeah. other people in danger mm. all of that I 100% agree with can I tell you that I would do differently I'd like to say no I wouldn't okay. is, but not saying the desire wouldn't be there no. is there a bit of I would say an 18 year old of he saved me now I must save him and love conquers all romantic and romantic once we get once I get to him we'll find a solution you but know is that, that how it's always been it's called stupid also, yeah to be fair it's gone that way so far yeah. also she clearly had zero plan she was just hiking to the forest it was the fact that Alaric went with her and had all these weapons yeah like mm. she literally just went like what was she gonna do yeah but that's always been they like they're like right we'll do this what's the plan Mm. That was the plan. Although, they, do, they, 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 they have a plan. It doesn't work. They wing it, and it's worked out okay. So what's to make you think that well, now be different? Okay like, for them, yeah. not okay for all the people well, that yeah, died the, along the way. The we Damon lost. pushing her in the river, fucking brilliant. Yeah, I thought that was really funny. <laughs> no, I won't get up because then you'll make me go home. And he's like, I will come in and get you, then, <laughs> young lady. Da da da. I love that Laura is just there, like, do you want to just sort yourselves out? Like, I'm not. I'm not yeah. I love that oh, I said I love that Damon called him brother. Oh. Um and I love Damon's unless you wanna relive the whole deathbed kissing thing. <laughs> Cause he knows when to bring in that there's they had like a serious kind of mm. talk, but he knows when to bring in the humour of that. Mm. And I don't think it was the humour of that. Yes, it was funny, but I think what he was actually saying was, do you remember when I nearly died and how you felt? Oh, true, yeah. When I nearly died, Mm -hmm. you know? (laughs) The thing about his, when I deliver my dear brother to you, I want you to remember how Mm. you feel. That is so powerful. Yeah. Because it's one day you're going to have to make a choice, but I'm not going to let you choose me until we Just are on he's equal not here. footing mm. and when you can make that no other you know fair mm. choice mm. then that's when I accept it but not until then and also I'm going to do this because I love you and I love him yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it was almost like a sort of I'm going to do this yeah because I love you both and this is what you want I don't need to do this I you know whatever but it was a bit of a like self like a Sort of, I'm letting you know that I know, but I'm still going to get my brother for you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm still going to do that, even though I know what you're feeling at the moment. Even though he's, like, very clear that, even though you're not ready to admit it. Yeah. Because mm, yeah. even admitting that she cares about him. But again, I like the fact that she was saying, 
well, I care about you, why do you need to hear me say it? And it's like, because deep down you know that it's not just that. Yeah. It's difficult when things move from, like, here. Yeah. And so then you out. say them out loud, that gives them yeah. reality. And when Alara... and the guilt she must feel about that, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. And Alara at the end, do you know what you're doing? Uh, no. Yeah, he's clearly seeing this is... But yeah. He's the only yeah. rational one there. But good, though, that she just wasn't like, oh, it's nothing, it's nothing. She yeah. was like... Yeah. yeah. He's moving upstairs. I know. <laughs> They're lost souls together. It's also a little bit of like maybe if Stefan, and I'm not saying he completely thought through his plan, but it was like I'll spend ten ten years being your henchman, like if you leave these people alone that I love. But um, maybe Stefan staying close to Klaus will allow him to see what is Klaus's plan. And if shit is about to hit the fan, he could text Damon or call Elena and tell them. But if he's not with Klaus, he won't know what Klaus's plan is. Well, this is part of it. He has to be with Klaus because that's the deal he made. Mm. But also, if he's with Klaus, he knows that Klaus isn't with Elena. Yeah, Yeah, but he also knows if Klaus is plotting something huge that's like, oh, fuck me, this will change the world. Maybe he can spread the word. But do you know what I mean? If Klaus is off on his own, no one will know what he's... Mm. Doing. So it would appear that they thought that Klaus needed to kill the doppelganger to break the curse. Not that there was a second part to this mm, plan yeah. that also involved the doppelganger. So they're thinking everything's good because he thinks Elena is dead. And everything is not good because at it's, some point yeah. he's going to figure out why this didn't work. Why isn't it working? Yeah, he was, he was like so close to the point of being like, she's not dead, is she? But then he just let it go. And you're like, oh. Which was so lucky, actually, that that vampire bite, because at least the Stefan had... Bite, yeah. The, the, yeah, the well fight. Because Stefan had a genuine reason for why he looked, because yeah. his face was like, ah, oh, fuck. Mm. Yeah. And he was like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm dying. Yeah. <laughs> what I found interesting was when Klaus was saying about how you still need my blood when he was stood there. I look at Klaus's face and he kind of looks down and away and I think the conflict that I'm seeing is I'm going to give you that blood and I want to give it to you but I can't give it up easy. I have to do something that makes it yeah. against my will because mm. I don't want to... There has yeah. to be a deal. Uh, yeah. You're a quid pro quo. You're not yeah, not it. just out of my kindness of my heart you, because... Yeah. You earn it so you remember your place yeah oh I took it as because I can't be seen to like be being nice to you so like I've got to make it like with Damon he wouldn't just do it because he's being nice he has to make it like a thing that it's not nice Mm. (laughs) because the thing at the end when he did the blood in the bottle was like him being nice in a way like not you have to drink it more more respectful yeah Yeah, also do you remember I said that I wondered about if Klaus wants to create this super race also because then he's not the only hybrid and maybe there's a sense of loneliness in that what if he got to that point looked around and saw all these other hybrids he'd made that were dead and he suddenly felt very lonely he literally said to Stefan well you're my only what do you say you're my only you're my only comrade in death then so maybe there's also a part of well I won't let you die because you're my only fucking friend and you're not even my friend but (laughs) yeah Yeah, but you know without you I'm on my own I do I do see some Mm. of that some desperation there yeah but he did it well when you stand alone you are mm. easy to be take well as easy as an original hybrid can be to be taken out well he revealed didn't he that you just build the army so no one ever picks the fight yeah, yeah. and there he was thinking oh yeah i'm gonna go and make loads well, of people that are gonna be around me he was looking around there was that no raises one the question mm. who's gonna pick a fight with you you're an unbeatable immortal hybrid mm. he's, he's <laughs> still yeah, who do you think yeah. coming he's who's still posed like poised for war and you're like against who uh, i'm gonna go with the witches because mm. that was the floor that nearly yeah. took him out mm. so if that was me that's uh, that's where I'd be heading because you may understand as much about a vampire and werewolf law because you are you are foot in both of those worlds Yeah, but we're starting to see that there is a, the ghosty astral mm. plane and the witchy world that unless you are in a coven or you, you know stuff they are learning things constantly. But poor Matt. Oh. Although... Well, and now poor Jeremy, because Vicky's like, I mm. need help, and Anna's like, no, you can't trust her. Yeah. Question, who are you trusting, though? 
I don't think that there's any... I, I'm more scared of the possibility of trying to bring someone back. It means, it seems more logical to be like, no, no, you're dead, stay where you are. So I'm leaning towards trusting Anna. But in trusting Anna, no, no, stay where you are, that should have been Jeremy. Which is the problem. This is escalating in the way that where he was seeing them just before, now with the picture propped up yeah. and then the window so now it's escalating into and physical things and he's able to things. communicate they get all pulled to ghosty yeah not but is that, it's escalating not but is that it. because he is leaning into it more now looking for mm-hmm. it more that he's able to communicate either that or they're getting stronger and more pissed off mm-hmm. I don't know and I, I feel it's... like Bonnie's gonna be a bit ooh when she finds out what's happened because they warned her there would be consequences oh mm. <laughs> and she said okay but she didn't clarify what the consequences would be yeah. nobody does though no. that's the best kind of revenge no I don't blame her in the moment no. yeah it's so the best kind of revenge you say don't worry there will be consequences and then you never say what they are yeah. and then just shit things keep happening like was that the consequence was that the consequence <laughs> was that it is it over now that's quite evil yeah. so poor Matt the dilemma of you're trying to kind of grieve and, and move on with your life because as much as you want to hang on to the people you've lost, you need to, mm. to keep going. Mm. But this is pulling back in. It's that hope, isn't it, of I could, she's there somewhere, I could communicate with her to if that doesn't work, I'm going to go through it all over again. It was nice, though, that Jeremy spoke to him when they were going through the things, Matt then said, I can't do this, and Jeremy left. Yeah. And then Matt decided to go through the things and then go to Jeremy and was like, okay, cool, let's let's try yeah. this or whatever. So Jeremy gave him the space to make that decision on his own. Yeah. Whereas if he'd have wanted it out, I think Jeremy would have respected that. Yeah. He didn't so. push him. Mm. I don't know that really for Matt, he would have ever gotten a real chance to grieve because she went missing. Then, then they found her body obviously mm. you didn't know all the stuff that happened then then with his mum and then he's basically just had to be a grown up and be on his own so the mundane gets in the way of dealing with it also the conversation they had where Jeremy said like I don't remember her dying yeah that's and, really sad and Matt being like I don't know when the last conversation I had with her before mm. oh yeah because both of them have been oh no I think it's no, because it... for Matt it's like at what point did that happen and it's so long ago mm. and it was probably such a mundane conversation yeah do you know what I, I mean when it happened, that yeah. it could have been can you wash that up before you leave mm. do you know what I mean you don't because you never think that each conversation you have is going to be the last one yeah you know? memories you can't live bitch. like that no. <laughs> so that was our reaction to season three episode two the hybrid thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one Bye. Bye.